Good morning everyone. My name is Janne Koponen. I work as a customer solution arch architect for Broadcoms, AIOps and monitoring. Today I'm going to talk about um, the uh, APM browser agent, um, particularly how the browser agent injects the monitoring snippets into your web applications. And to illustrate the fact, I'm going to log into our APM 11 SaaS solution and the front-end monitoring section, the application experience analytics, which is the place where we collect all the metrics and all the information coming from your monitored web applications. Uh, for each of these monitored applications, we typically create an application profile, which you're looking at here. And I'm going to click on one of them called EMEA provisioning which then provides me with a configuration screen uh, to set all the different options for monitoring the web applications and of course the mobile ones as well. But in this case, we're going to look at the web application monitoring. So I'm clicking on that top bar there to get to the relevant section. And what we are looking at here is the JavaScript snippet that needs to go into your web application header. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, the obvious one, copy pasting it manually into your web application header works as well as anything else, but the mechanism doesn't allow for the correlation ID to flow between the application and the monitoring solution, meaning APM. So we're going to use something that's easier and also allows for this uh, business transaction trace correlation which means that we are going to use the browser agent to do the actual snippets injection automatically. The added benefits of this is that you, you don't have to obviously copy paste anything manually Plus, all the dynamically generated SHTML pages, for instance, will be instrumented as well, so you don't miss parts of the application. This is why using the browser agent is, is the recommended way of injecting this snippet. So, how to do this? Well, I'm going to go into the application performance monitoring parts, where we can now, from the SaaS solution, download and configure all the agents in one place. It's pretty easy. So I just go to the left side menu and click on the agents. And you can see the top left there, there's a download agents button. So I click on that and this view opens up. So you have your Windows agents and you have your Unix Linux agents. And if you haven't seen APM 11 before, the list is probably for you quite surprising there's quite quite a few new agents there but i'm going to concentrate now on the ones that actually act as a browser agent as well as in this case for instance a java jvm monitoring agent so when i hover on top of these agent names here i get a couple of options either information or configuration so i can click on the configuration icon there and you can see that on the right side, I can also select the browser agent. So I click on that, I scroll down, and I can see that a browser agent section appears in the configuration options there. So this particular drop down here, um, when I click on it, it automatically populates all the AXA app profiles that we just saw before. So now I can select the application uh, profile that I want the front-end metrics to go into. So when I click on this email provisioning, select that one there, the snippet that we just saw before is automatically inserted into the configuration of this particular agent. So you don't have to do anything manually. You just select the app profile that you want to use for that front-end monitoring couple of other options there. I will definitely want the snippets injection enabled and I also want the response decoration enabled which means that also the response cookie will be inserted into the header so that we get the correlation ID between the front end business transactions and the APM backend traces inserted into the application. 
So with that I'm pretty much ready. I can also give my agents a name, um, <coughs> sorry application and the agent as well if I want to and then I can simply click download and install. Now the thing is um, you know if you have older Java agents um, you can also use the same agents to inject the snippet. This is not new technology this has been around for some time the configuration of it with newly downloaded agent is just made easier. But we'll talk about how to manually configure this once I get to that part of the uh, demo here. So the next step is simply to download and install. And with that, download kicks off and I also get some instructions on what to do next. So the tarball comes down. I just need to expand it and simply add the options to my JVM startup scripts to make the agent also kick off and start monitoring and start injecting the snippet into the uh, web pages. So how does that work? So I've downloaded the bundle and I get uh, some files in my file system. So particularly here I'm looking at the browser agent extension part of the bundle. And once you start the uh, agents, all of this will be expanded for you automatically. And after that, you will see that there's things like the bundle.properties. So let's have a look at what the bundle.properties contained. It looks very similar to the introscope agent.profile file, which is the default file for configuring all these options. But we now have this bundle of properties in the extension itself to separate the options, make them a little bit easier to manage. So the first thing we are looking at is auto injection enable true. This corresponds to the tick box that we that we ticked <coughs> in the downloads uh, of the agent. Uh, let's go a little bit further down. And let's have a look at the app ID. Okay, so by default, the browser agent is configured to monitor just one web application. So we are assuming that this agent is monitoring one JVM, which is producing services for one web application. So we're using the default app ID here. This could be any string. Just make sure that this string default is also used in all the subsequent ones that need an app ID, like the snippet location. If you want the agent to monitor different web applications or different pages of the web applications so that the information and the metrics from those different URLs or pages goes to a different app profile, you can also configure the the agents here, the browser agents, to monitor several different applications and insert the data into different app profiles in AXA. And the way to do it is illustrated here. It's currently commented out because I don't really want to do it, but you simply add a comma separated list of those app IDs and you use those app IDs later to define various locations for the uh, different snippets that we want to insert into those uh, applications. So further down the line, you also have to then obviously modify the regular expression for which URLs are monitored and which URLs are supposed to send metrics to a different app profile. This is not needed. You don't need to do any of this manually if you're just monitoring one web application. This file is pretty much ready to go unless you want to change it to monitor several URLs in one file. Further things that you'll notice here is this snippet string, which is the string that we saw before. As I said, it's now automatically uh, part of the configuration in the snippet string option. So you don't need to use the default uh, BA snippet file. You can also use the snippet string, which is the case here. And this will take precedence over the BA snippet file if that's uh, configured anywhere else in the file. In terms of the other options here, um, something that I'd like to mention, for instance, is the max searching length. So this is 32k currently. Um, what this says is simply that, you know, uh, as a browser agent, I'm going to go search 
for the snippets and the other options in the header of your application up to 32k of text so if your header is massively large this might not be enough so in terms of troubleshooting if the snippet is sometimes not injection check your header if the header contains a huge amount of included files and javascripts or whatnot this might need to be uh, extended uh, of the other options let's scroll down a little bit and uh, go to the content encoding this is another thing in terms of troubleshooting if the snippet doesn't appear in your web pages check if your web application has got any content encoding like gzip or something else if that's the case enable this option uh, make it true and restart the uh, the agent I'm scrolling a little bit down here to illustrate a very important option here which is the response decoration enabled equals true so this is the option that forces the browser agent to actually inject not just the snippets but the BT response cookie which will then carry the correlation ID uh, between the web application and and APM um, we talked about the includes regex the default option there the regular expression for URLs what we are monitoring and decorating also applies to the cookie so we are using wildcard there uh, which is the default option and that means that all URLs <coughs> which are monitored will get also the cookie so that's about it really in terms of the configuration like I said um, once you configure the browser agent during the download uh, you don't really need to do anything else if you want to add stuff or if you want to do some troubleshooting uh, uh, exercises you can then change this bundle.properties file to uh, to uh, to make some experiments and try and figure out what's going on or add to the functionality of the of the agent so I'm just going to leave this file behind and I'm going to show you what the results of the whole thing should be. So, agent is running, browser agent's uh, auto uh, snippets injection is configured. You have your web app going on, which is in my case and in this example the trusty text change. So, we're looking at the landing page here. Okay. So, how to know? that the uh, snippet injection is actually working well the first thing would be to uh, view the page source and if everything is good you should have this in your header section and that's as you can see contains the APMBA response uh, cookie uh, but it also contains the snippets for email provisioning that we just uh, looked at before so what happens in the background is that once this is now called as a part of the web application uh, another bigger file called um, browser agent or js is called from the collector it comes down start doing the metric collection and then it will post the resulting metrics and business transactions to uh, to our collector through a rest call so that all looks good there's another way of checking that everything is working fine which is then going into the uh, in this case Chrome developer tools so I'll open that up I'm in the network tab and I will filter with the word browser and I'll refresh this yep and we can see that it's working so it's now called the BAJS and subsequently it's collected the metrics and it's actually now posted them to the collector and these browser met metrics will become visible in the AXS solution as well as the APM solution and the traces between those two and the integration between those two uh, will be fully working so just a couple of things about potential troubleshooting so particularly to the APM correlation there's a couple of other options in bundle the properties and the uh, Interscope agent of profile file that we could give a try so response decoration is essential All right, this has to be set to true 
uh, APM enable declaration should be set to true as well. It's not in every case, but you know this is something that you can try to make sure that the integration is actually working. The auto injection enable is an absolute must. Same with the uh, response declaration enable. I think I just had it there in the first line as well, but repeating it doesn't doesn't hurt. So browser agent correlation GUI ID enabled true. What this says is that uh, regardless if the snippet is injected, I will put the correlation ID in there and regardless if there's a trace kicked off. So this will always enable the link in AXA. And the other thing that you might Look, want to look into adding uh, into the Interscope agent or profiles is to force the uh, response cookie into the uh, header. So, despite all of this, sometimes things don't work. So, snippet doesn't appear. Uh, what is going on? Um, particularly with uh, Internet Explorer, we've seen that with older versions or with later versions, 10 onwards, if the compatibility mode is enabled, this simply switches off the relevant APIs that we need to collect metrics and to simply uh, inject the snippet into the web application. I did mention briefly that if you have any content encoding in the web application, you should then tell the browser agent that. One thing that definitely kills off the snippet injection is if in the snippet file, if you're using the file, the uh, default.bs snippet, or in the actual snippet string in the bundle of properties, if there's any extra characters, or character encoding is incorrect, you've, you've moved a file from Windows to Census or whatever, that will generate problems with this. So careful with those extra characters. Uh, browser security sometimes is an issue. Um, some corporates do not allow JavaScript injection in the browser, so uh, that's worth checking if you know the snippet doesn't, doesn't appear. And like I said, if your app header is very, very large, um, then consider increasing the max search length in the uh, in the bundle dot properties. So everything going fine. The application is monitored. Now I'm now going to go into into AXA and show what the end result should be. So data is flowing from text change to both APM and AXA, and we are looking at, uh, well, in this case, uh, North America provisioning. And I'm going into the sessions, and I'm going to select one random session there, the latest one. And uh, let's do something like filter with network calls. So you can see that this icon here, APM isolation view, is visible. And by clicking that, I can now go straight to the back end to actually see what's going on in the back end and look at the traces. And all of this simply says that my snippet is injecting fine. I can now examine the metrics in both AXA and APM, and the integration is working. So that's um, that's the end of the session for today. I hope you. Uh, enjoyed that and I'll talk to you later.